Chapter 1, Polygon Modeling. Here we uh, learn how to set up the viewport so we can have our uh, something, you know, so we know what we're modeling uh, based on and getting familiar with the uh, polygon modeling tool set uh, as well as uh, making sure that our mesh is set up for both sculpting and animation, that we have the proper dispersion of polygons as well as uh, having the polygons where we really need them at the flexible areas. Chapter 2, Setting Up UV Coordinates. Here we're going to learn the uh, various uh, UV tools in body paint and uh, also how to get the best results out of the UV peeler and uh, using relax so we can have a nice uh, mesh dispersion. Chapter 3, Sculpting. Here we learn to use the, uh, the tool set of the sculpting layout uh, and especially uh, paying attention to the layer system and masking system so we can optimize some of these uh, high, high resolution models. And, uh, and that's where we really tighten up on all the surface details that uh, later will bake out into uh, ambient occlusion, normal, and displacement maps. Chapter 4, Materials. Here we take our baked maps from our uh, sculpting process and uh, use that as our basis for painting um, our, our, uh, uh, our diffuse and color channels in, uh, in body paint. And uh, that'll be done in a layer system pretty similar to uh, Photoshop. And in addition, we'll be setting up uh, uh, parameters in the luminance and reflectance channel. Chapter 5, Rigging. Well, here we'll get, a, a, get to use the character tools and build a procedural rig that will uh, align to our mesh. And then uh, we'll use the weight manager to set up the skin weights so we can uh, assign the different bones to which parts of the mesh they'll be deforming. Chapter 6, Animation. Here we use the C-Motion tools to create a custom walk cycle and then finally integrate it into our animated scene.